Happy Monday, everybody. So today, if you would look, I'm going to talk to them for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back to y'all. Okay, guys. So if you'll look today, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. <clears throat> and I want you to see some things that might help you at home. So the first thing you want to look at is you want to look at the new the agenda. I've tried to do, do what Elijah asked me to do and make a different type of an agenda. This agenda here is going to have group A and group B. Group A today just got finished taking their vocabulary quiz. And we're going to go over work and energy and power, PowerPoint. And then we're going to start on activity 1.25, mechanical systems efficiency with the VEX. So what they're going to be doing here at class today is they're going to start building their winch and they're going to go and see if they can get that built and try to make sure it works. That's their goal for today and tomorrow. As you can see with you that are at home, you're going to also look at this PowerPoint work, energy and power with the notes. And you're going to start on activity 1.25, mechanical systems efficiency, which is a simulation. You're going to do that today and you're going to do that tomorrow. So we're going to kind of flip flop. You're going to be building here at school and at home, you're going to be using the simulations. So if you'll look at that agenda, I'm hoping, Elijah, this helps you out better. I'm hoping that you like it better and maybe that will help you understand what you need to do. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to Project Lead the Way. And I'm going to take you that are here um, that are online and I'm going to take you through where you need to be first. And then after that, I'm going to start the lecture. And then after that, um, we're going to leave you alone so you can do the math problems. And we are going to build our machines. So if you'll go into Project Lead the Way. And if you go down to 1.2, and what we're supposed to be doing today is 1.25, you will see one that says 1.25 mechanical systems efficiency VEX. That's what they're going to be doing here. And then you see 125 mechanical systems efficiency SIM. This is where you are. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this one for stimulations. In simulations here, it's going to tell you what energy conversions are, it's going to give you the efficiency. It's going to talk about a, a winch and how it works. And then down here, you're actually going to see data already. So you're going to be using this data to be able to fill in question one, question two, and question three, and question four. And you have to do the conclusion questions one through four. Now, if you want to do it online, that's fine, but you still will have to write it in your ISM book. So make sure uh, you can do it both places. I don't really care which one you do. Just make sure you do it in the ISM book to take a picture of it and submit it to me. Now, this here is not due until Wednesday when you get back. So Wednesday when you get back, I'm going to videotape us going over the answers to this. And then the students that are here are going to watch them after they get finished with what they need to do. So that's pretty much our procedures so far. Now, if you look on today's agenda, or better yet, if you look on Google Classroom and you go into classwork, you will see uh, not only the agenda, you'll see the um, Monday question of the day. Monday question of the day is what is the definition of work? And then number 31 is where we are today. So you will see a PowerPoint called work, energy, and power. You will have to, uh, you don't have to open that up, but you can if you want to and look at that. Underneath there, you'll see a copy or a picture of the um, notes that I have on the board. And also you're going to see a PowerPoint showing how to make the VEX uh, mechanical winch. That's there for the students for the day. Your thing that you're going to be doing is this here and then watching this video and taking some notes as you go. Perfect. All right, ladies, how are we? So let's look and see what Ms. Sloan has up here at the very top. So up here at the top, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing formulas about work, okay? 
This is similar to electricity, right? Voltage, current, resistance, except now we're going to do work equals force times distance, okay? Work is, made, is the units of W is our abbreviation. Energy transfers when a force is applied to an object moving through a distance, which is D. F is force, D is distance. Now, in this class, we are going to be using the SI units of energy as joules. The problem is, for joules, we have to have our units in newtons per meter, okay? And after you get finished writing this down, we're going to go over a sample problem that you possibly could see. And these two conversion numbers are things that you'll need to know. Because most of the time when we're doing work, it's usually in uh, pounds per foot. But we're going to have to change it to newtons per meter. Okay? That is work. Have you got the work notes down so far? So what I want to do is I want to do an equation on the board, and I'm going to give you a scenario of what they're asking for. So it says here, a student lifts a 50-pound ball four feet in five seconds. How many joules of work did the students complete? Please take out your paddle board and your marker. So let's go over this again. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the equation for work. So work equals force times distance, correct? So the variables we need to have is W, F, and D. So write that down on your board. So as I read it, I want you to fill in the variables that you know we have. Everybody ready? Okay, a student lifts a 50 pound ball four feet in five seconds. So, what is the force? Fifty pounds, right? What is the distance? Four feet. Now, are we going to be able to get joules out of that? You can, but I need them in newtons per meter. So, how am I going to change this from feet and pounds? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a conversion, right? So, to do this, I want pounds down here. What do I want on top? Newtons. And then feet, what do I want on the top? Meters, right? Newtons times meters. Okay, so the only thing I have to do is plug these conversion numbers in, right? So I have 0.25.225 newtons or pounds in a newton. And then And then on the other one, what am I going to put in here? One meter, one meter equals 3.28, right? Okay. Pull up your calculators. And let's see what numbers we get. Remember to do that, you'll do 50, open bracket, alpha y equals 1 over the 0.225 
close your bracket. I got 0.22. Did you get that? Uh -huh. I got 222.5 newtons. And then try to do this one, please. And that's going to be four. <clears throat> open bracket. Alpha Y equals one over 3.28. And what do you get? I got 1.22. Once I got that, what's the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug my answers in. So I have 222.5 newtons, and I'm going to multiply that by 1.22 meters. And what is that equal to? Fantastic. And that's going to be Newton's times meters. So this is only the only equation that you'll need to know right now is just work. But you need to make sure you understand. And that's the reason why I drew this in here so that you would know these are the numbers that you have because most work are feet are per pound. Okay. And I want to make sure you know how to convert it to get your joules that we need here, which is your newtons times meters. Energy because it is in motion. So then the last part is just talking about, that's the only thing you need to know about work. The next part is energy. Okay, to get energy, which we know has to be able or the ability to do work. So I have to have an energy drink just so I can work, right? Different things that you have, light, heat, mechanical, chemical, electrical, takes that force and makes it go a distance. Okay, and there's two forms of energy. You have potential energy and kinetic energy. Of course, potential energy is stored or gravitational potential energy. A kinetic is energy because it is in motion. So kinetic energy is as you move around. You can have transformations of this energy. It could be chemical to kinetic, radiant to chemical, electrical to thermal. Those are three examples of energy transformation. And then the last thing there talks about renewable energy, biomass, hydropower, geothermal, wind, and solar, and non-renewable, which is coal, natural gas, petroleum, and uranium. And that's all the notes you have for today. So those of you at home, if you would please go ahead and do your math work now that you know. Make sure that when you're talking about work, you are changing it into correct units. And you're going to be doing that today and tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a little bit more notes. And besides that, you'll be continuing to work on these equations.